Hey everyone, how you doing today? Welcome back to my channel. Now today we're going to be doing a reaction to My Hero Academia chapter 213, no, what, 313. And man, it's been a good, good time. I mean, I always say this, I, I say this every time, but because My Hero Academia has been flipping good right now, so I can't really say anything less than that. But um, last chapter was obviously the whole Lady Nagant thing and finding out more about her. So I'm really excited that we got a whole chapter for her because like that gives me more hope that she might be around for the long run so i'm hoping she doesn't get her ass beat this um this chapter that would be kind of annoying but other than that i'm really excited to see what deck is going to do to come out of the situation um she got a second quirk so i want them to explain like how she could have a second quirk the thing is i don't know if other than all for one shigaraki and deku and all might and obviously the vestiges of um, one for all. I don't know who has two quirks. Like everyone either has a hybrid or a quirk, you know? So I want them to explain how Lady Nagat is able to have two quirks with no repercussions. That's what I want to know too. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's get on with the reaction. My Hero Academia chapter 313. Okay, so All Might did survive, obviously, obviously. Because he, <laughs> the, the way he's driven past that explosion, whoa, okay. <laughs> Um, it, the chapter is called Flying Artillery Battery. Well, according to the scans, um, if it wasn't for Hercules, I would have been a goner. What the car? The car's called Hercules. Only All Might, man. <laughs> Only All Might. All right. So All Might sees. Oh, who are these guys? Whoa! What is that? They look like really big exploding match picks. Anyway, uh, this isn't just an ordinary account attack. They're clearly out to kill me. They sh they sure don't plan what, they sure don't plan to hold back. Okay, yeah, yeah. they sure don't plan to hold back. Yeah, they're trying to kill the symbol of peace. Even if he's still a human, he's still symbol of peace. The goal their goal is to separate us from Midoriya, and then uh, who's All Might calling? Those are assassins. The boy's being targeted. Okay, I guess he's calling Hawks and them lot. Oh, I thought that was back ago for a second. The way that went, boom. The others like exploding. They look like match picks but like really big and they explode that's so interesting i wonder what they are so they sh they shot them boom all my jumped out of the car swerved and everything um the car crashed all my somehow rolled out of it what a g anyway and they go all my <laughs> oh so they didn't even know it was all my they go don't fall uh one of the other e um bad guys goes um don't falter now we can't stop him now but he looks so frail the All Might we once knew is long gone. And they're all like, yeah, we can kill All Might. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, that's right. All Might goes, step aside. They're like, huh? <laughs> I, oh, they're bringing back the promise from, well, it was in season uh, three. I can't remember which part in the manga. I think it was like in like the early hundreds. Yeah, because this was basically when they were moving to dorms. So anyway, I will protect him and raise him right, even if it costs me a life, All Might says to Inko as a flashback. And he brings out muscle mode, right? All Might goes, that boy has gone through a lot more than I ever have. Really? Really? Deku's gone through more than All Might? Really? I thought All Might was like, oh, my time was depressing and, oh, it's not all smiles in, in my area. Damn, really? Okay. I mean, Deku's gone through a lot, but more than All Might? Okay, all right, cool. And then uh, flashback to what Deku says to All Might when he, I believe this was when he said, oh, I'm going to die. Deku goes, well, whatever happens to you, I'll be there changing fate by your side. Oh, look at these guys. Whoa. And yeah, he still admires me, called All Might. If anything ever happens to him, it will be when I die. Look at that picture. The fear of the symbol of peace is still around. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, so he went... Did he even go muscle mode? I don't think he did. He just had... It's just his aura, man. That's the power of the symbol of peace, man. That is the symbol of peace right there. So Deku's just jumping like crazy, like a jackrabbit. Then he just... I'm zigzagging around un unpredictably to escape her light of fire. It's smart. As long as Lady Nagan doesn't overtake me somehow, I'll reach it faster than her. I'll find out where a AFO is. No, no, where Shigaraki is. Danger sense kicks in. Where are you about to get shot from? Jeez, from behind? And he, ki <laughs> oh, and he kicked the... Was it a knife? Okay, I think it's one of her bullets. And he kicked it like crazy. Boom. From behind? Like I said. Boom. Wait, what just shot him? Damn, Lady Naga doesn't play. 
She used one as a decoy, shot him through the other side. Did she? Damn. Okay. Deku goes, ah. He goes, what's happening? <laughs> How does she catch right up to me unless she's got company? No, I don't sense any hostility or murderous intent nearby. And he's looking around. Hold on. That's right. How could I have overlooked the possibility that if it's an assassin sent by all for one, of course she would have received support from him. Look at her just tapping away in the air. Bro, mad strong, bro. Oh, and she uses... Oh, that's sick. Boom. And she's just fly, basically zooming through the air. It's smart. Deku, Deku's like, what is going on? The last shot that hit my back was super curved and came from behind me. If she comes any closer, she'll be able to shoot me at point blank range, in, 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 range instead of predicting the trajectory. Immobilizing and capturing me alive must be their goal. And now that I've blocked her bullet, she decided to close the distance. Eventually, I won't be able to handle her bar barrages, even with the help of the fourth um, of my fourth danger sense. Or I thought it was the fourth power, whatever. If that's the case, sixth smoke screen. <laughs> okay, full throttle. She goes, another quirk? Does he also have multiple? Dang, I can't see anything. Deku's just smoking up the area. Man, look at this. I love new Deku now. Like, his faces are, like, so on point. He looks like he's about to go on a murder streak sometimes. Anyway. Hey, 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 ninth. Did you forget what, uh, f forget what I told you? This is N that's saying this. Releasing too much smoke is a pretty risky move. The enemy is a so-called flying artillery battery. She'll hit you as soon as you leave the smoke. You've got nowhere left to run. And Deku goes, I'm not going to run. I just need to buy some time. What's he doing? Oh, he's 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 preparing to do an exercise. What's this jumping? He's like, whoo, whoo, okay. <laughs> oh, wait, that could be... <laughs> that's dangerous. Is he using the second or third quirk? And he's like, ah, I don't recommend that. Let's see, which one is it? I know what you're trying to do. Okay, so this one is the third i believe yeah but you but you've yet to reach that stage it's like you've said yourself first figure out how to handle two processes at once subconsciously once you've got that down throw in another thing <laughs> yeah bringing that back in is pretty sick because to be fair deku oh man deku's power like all together he's just he's a monster man but anyway they go yeah, you've tried. You you you've yet to try my quirk before attempting parallel processes. You and he goes, I can't be too slow. If we manage to stop Lady Nagan, all for one, and Shigaraki will come next. I'll learn how to use your quirk right now. I'm sorry for having you to use your cape like this, Gran Torino. Third, Fajin, Fajin. The third. Wait, Fajin. What does that mean? The third quirk is an explosive release of internal power similar to a move in Chinese martial arts. So wait, is this like Kaioken from Dragon Ball Z? Wait a minute, is it? Because from what I understand, right, this is why Loki, I'll, I'm going to have to read the, this. This is why I always read officials. Because <laughs> I read the scans to not get spoiled, yeah. But I read officials to understand stuff. And <laughs> that's why I read both, man. If it wasn't for the fact that I don't want to be spoiled, I would not be reading scans. Because, bro, what is Fajin? What is Fa I mean, who knows? Maybe that might be the official thing. But an explosive an explosive release of internal power, that is Kaioken. I believe that's Kaioken. If that is like that, okay, we need to talk. If it's like that, that, that ah, man, Deku's, Deku's, Deku's something else. Okay, first off, let's start with All Might because um, I believe that was like half of the chapter was All Might. So let's talk about him. Um, he survived, obviously. Like, we, I don't think anybody expected All Might to die. Did you expect All Might to die at this point? Because I didn't. I mean, I, I feel like he's going to die soon, but he, come on, to die in a car crash, that's a bit much. Um, but I like this, these, this match, match, the toothpick type quirk. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like, I'm trying to figure out what, what, what other thing it could be. Because it looks like a toothpick, right? What these guys are shooting. But it has an explosion at the top, so like maybe like a missile. I mean, it could be a missile to be fair, a missile quirk, but or just they're just throwing missiles. But that's what to me it looked like a toothpick acting like a missile, and that's pretty cool. I like I said, I love Horikoshi's creativity when it comes to quirks of different people. But if that's not a quirk, then I guess support item that's pretty cool. So uh yeah. I mean it looks kinda like Thunder Spears now that I think about it. But it was, it's just the two lines at the top makes me think it's a match pick. But anyway. 
What I really love about this All Might section is the fact that he just still has the aura of the symbol of peace because I always wondered, all right, All Might is a human now. Other than to give us the information about AFO and OFA and to just, you know, and to just be around Deku's moral support, I didn't see the point of him left. I'm, I, as much as I love All Might, I love All Might, right? And I really like All Might's story. Don't get it twisted. But... I've always been wondering, is there any point to All Might's character anymore? I mean, should he have died at Kamino? Like, that's that's the thing I just keep on thinking back to, because, like, you know, what else is there for him to do? Like, I, I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking. I like the fact that All Might here is still the symbol of peace, even after not being the symbol of peace for so long. Like, he still has that aura. It leads me, gives me, like, okay, he's still All Might. Does that make sense? Like, even though he's always been All Might, I'm, I'm kind of contradicting myself, because he's always been All Might, yeah. But... I don't know, maybe maybe because in the beginning, like All Might just had that aura, that presence, like, oh, this is All Might. And now we're just seeing a weakened down All Might. And don't get it twisted, I love that story. But I've, I love that story. But I've always wondered if it's like that necessary for Deku's development. But I don't know, we're still going on with that route. And I still like it, yeah. And don't get it twisted, seeing stuff like him showing his aura just gives me like oh yeah this is still the same all might i loved and cared about from the beginning i don't know that was a big ramble but basically to, to answer to, <laughs> to finalize my point i really like when all might goes ham that's, <laughs> that's that's the summary i just really like it and i missed it since all might versus like all for one and it's nice that he still has that aura that's basically what i'm trying to say um but yeah, even the fact that every, I love the fact that civilians are now starting to clock. All right, yeah, All Might is just a All Might is just a skeleton. We can go and piss him off. But obviously, the aura of All Might and the symbol of peace still knocks knocks that out of the park. So yeah, we move on to Deku because there's not that much to talk about in this chapter. I don't know why I went on a whole tangent on All Might, but <laughs> there's not that much to talk about. But anyway, Deku, um, Deku and Lady Nagan. I wish we saw her air walking, but I wish we saw her do these cool shots like. We were seeing her do a double shot. Deck was like, what is going on? It would have been so sick to see her, like, do some, like, mad flip and shoot. I don't know. Like, maybe some <laughs> 360 no-scope. I'm joking. Anyway, no, but for real, I wish I saw from her perspective how those shots went to him. But um, we don't have to. And I guess we'll see that eventually. And I guess in the anime, they may include it. Yeah, I love the fact that she's just still a problem for Deku. I just love that because... Yet again, I think Deku, Deku, as much as I love how strong he is, and it makes sense how strong he is, I do think that the fact that there are not that many villains that can catch up to a fight Deku means that we're, we, it just gives me a fear that we're like, slowly closing into the end. That's my big fear. So it's cool that there is a villain that can fight one-on-one -on -one with Deku. And uh, yeah, Deku is, <laughs> Deku is running for his life. Deku is struggling against Lady Nagant. But the question I want to know is... Um, Actually, before that, I love that scene when Lady Daggett uses the the rifle as like a propeller. That's pretty. No, not propeller. What do you call it? Like a boost, and that's that's pretty awesome. I want to talk about N for a second. So N is saying that releasing all your smoke is a pretty risky route. So I'm trying to figure out what happens to Deku when he releases all his smoke. Does he get like lightheaded or something? I mean, obviously, the problem with the smoke screen is if you pop out of the smoke, unless you use it right, it's kind of pointless because if you pop out of the smoke at the wrong time, you get shot. Like N just said about Deku, he was like, he, she's a sniper. Since you, since you make some type of like movement, you're kind of screwed. But I do want to know what the limitations of this quirk is. That means, I mean, kind of like, you know how the base um, one for all, or all for, what am I saying? One for all, yeah. The base of that, I believe it's um, if you use it too much. Well, obviously Deku breaks his limbs, but I'm trying to figure out if he mastered everything, would it just be a stamina thing? I don't know. Basically, I'm trying to figure out what are the limitations of all his quirks. Do all his quirks have limitations like um, like end smoke quirk? I don't know, but I don't know. I mean, I really don't know, but I just find that very interesting if there are. That, that would be really cool if they all had limitations. Like... Obviously, the main one had his limbs breaking, but let's say he masters it 100%. What would his be, be that limitation to? Um, Black Whip, what would be the limitations of that? I mean, I guess him getting rage mode on Shigaraki might be 
something that leads towards that, but I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking. Deku doing his jumping jacks are pretty old. What I think this is jumping jacks, right? Um, no, jumping jacks is where you open your arm. I forgot what they're called, but basically Jack Deku preparing to use his power is pretty sweet, and I loved it. It reminded me of Goku, young Goku, for a minute. But anyway, th okay, here's the thing I really want to talk about. Here's the thing I really want to talk about. Far Jin, Far Jin, right? Far Jin, yeah, Far Jin. This is, is it Kaioken? Is it some type of Kaioken? Or what type of internal spirit is this because it seems like you know it like i don't know like a, i believe it's in pokemon when a pokemon has one of the moves fighting spirit and it just raises their attack power i think it happens in other rpgs too basically when when they have that fighting spirit raise their attack power this this that is that what's happening to deku because that means <laughs> that with <laughs> with baseline um one for all just the strength part of it that is a recipe for disaster not for deku for villains because that is mad <laughs> that is actually mad man i want to see what this is i want to see what color it will be i hope it's like red that would be sick uh, but knowing knowing my hair academia it's probably gonna be green like he's gonna be some like green power up like oh man this is gonna look so sick in the anime this is gonna look so sick in the anime man deku you're becoming a beast aren't you but i mean i want to ask you a question now basically have I got this right in saying that Far Jin is his fighting spirit, like, like you know, like a Kaioken type or those power-up type um, moves? Please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, because, yet again, I don't know what Far Jin means and like, what, according to the scans, which could be wrong, is that it's an explosive release of internal power. So, yeah, Deku's turning into Goku, guys. <laughs> That's pretty much all I can say. <sighs> Who's going to get taken down? Who's going to get taken down? I mean... As much as it'll be cool to see Deku take down a, such a powerful villain like Lady Nagan, I would love it if Lady Nagan won. Because Deku, at the end of the day, Deku has to go and see Shigaraki in AFO anyway. And that's what Lady Nagan's gonna do. Just knock him out and take him to AFO anyway. So, I would love it if Deku just lost and he went there. And then that, that that's how it goes. Like, you know, I would love that. And maybe, let's say, if Deku is captured by the villains. Like, maybe it might be a Deku retrieval arc, low-key. Like, Deku's captured by the villains, then obviously them uh, Hawks and Endeavor and all my all of these guys know about it, and they're all like, nah, we gotta go save Deku and all that. That would be pretty sweet. That would be pretty sweet. And uh, I think that th that would just, yeah, that would just be pretty sweet. I was gonna say that might align with what Hori says, but I don't think it will, to be honest with you, because that could be, like, the end, end game of My Hero Academia, what Hori says, but... It would be a start. I mean, it would be a really big start. Imagine, like, Deku being in captive and then Ochako is the one who comes and saves him. I mean, it would be a real big start. But anyway, what did you guys think of this chapter? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know in the comment section. I am open to discussion. Thank you very much for watching. Again, please like this video. Subscribe to my channel for more on pop culture and entertainment. Have a great day. Stay safe. Plus Ultra. And I will see you soon. All right.